Tristan, in terms of where you guys started this year and where you are now with the pack line defense, obviously a lot of new faces. Do you guys feel connected, and, and do you get the sense that Coach Bennett is satisfied, or there's still a lot more he wants from that side? I think there, there will always be a lot more he wants um, defensively. We've made strides in the right direction. I think a lot of transfers coming in, new guys still putting pieces together. Um, I think there, there's a lot of work to be done. I mean, Coach Bennett was just telling us, you know, good win, but now the real playing starts. Like, we're starting conference play. Um, I think we still need to be a lot more efficient, and he always talks about building good habits and managing breakdowns. So a lot of good stuff, um, but definitely not where we want to be, and we, we need to keep striving for sure. Tristan, it might not have been tonight with students gone for winter break, but, but when they were here, I think late in some games, there were some Tristan chants breaking out in the crowd. What does that mean to you, and, and why do you think uh, you've become popular? I don't know. That's, I don't know. Um, no, I just, I, I've loved every aspect of this university, and I think a big part of my experience has been basketball, but also touching other parts of grounds and other communities. Um, so I like, personally know some of the people who try and start that chant. Um, <laughs> I don't tell them to, they just do it. Those are my guys. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it just it reflects um, UVA as a whole, even just beyond basketball. It's just a super loving community. And I've felt that, you know, in academia, through other communities, through basketball, I mean, it really just warms my heart to hear it. You get a little nervous, but I'm like, all right, you know, I've got, I've got the fans behind me. I've got, obviously, my teammates and coaches behind me. So it definitely warms my heart. Reese told us after the Memphis game that it was going to be hard to go home for the holidays with kind of that in the back of your mind. How did this group kind of handle that, get over it, or mm -hmm. use it, and kind of come out tonight and, and play much better? Yeah. Um, I think it, it was important that, you know, Reese uh, said some good words to us after that loss of just like enjoy the holidays, you know, be with your family. It's important to get disconnected in that way. Um, but when we came back, he, he grabbed us and was like, listen, we need to lock in, we need to focus. Um, Wisconsin was a tough loss. Memphis was a tough loss. Those are two really good teams. Um, but we just, we, we know kind of the answer. We just have to put in the effort to do it. We need to be a lot more sound. Um, I think in both games we were competing, but then we kind of let it go at the end. And it's just about being sound and tough. I mean, coach has been preaching that the last couple games, be sound and tough and play our way. Um, I think that that's what we're trying to do in practice and here forward. And um, it's only going to get tougher. So we really got to make those adjustments. We'll Andrew, what what is the transition from St. Thomas to UVA been like for you, basketball and and you know off the court as well? I mean, yeah, it's been a lot different. Obviously, just the level of play and stuff like that. But you know, I'm just blessed to have great people around me helping me through that transition. You know, whenever I have questions or need help with things, they're always there to answer them. Um, and yeah. After the, the Memphis loss, Reese said, you know, it was going to be hard to kind of get that out of your minds over the holiday break. Mm -hmm. How do you think the team processed that, handled it, and then came back and went to work? Yeah, I mean, obviously that was a gut punch, and nobody wants to lose like that. But I think we did a good job of kind of just not forgetting about it, but, you know, watching the tape, seeing what we can do to do better. And, you know, we really kind of came to practice with a different edge and, you know, just trying to be the best team that we can be. In terms of defensively where you guys are, and, and I know Coach always wants more on that end, but um, are, are you pleased with the progress you guys have made? How much better do you think you all need to get defensively? Where's the connectedness? How, how would you evaluate kind of that side of things? Yeah, I mean, I think we can always improve defensively, you know, just the little things and doing the little things right and staying solid throughout the course of the game. I think that was one of the things we struggled with tonight, just opening up the second half. I think if we're going to be great defensively, we got to be good, you know, as much as we can through the whole game. So. I think that's one of the biggest things we need to work on. But, you know, I'm pleased with, you know, what we're doing so far. So it's been good. Were you looking to be more assertive with your shot tonight than in the past few games? Um, yeah, I think so. Obviously, I've been struggling to score the ball a little bit the past couple of games. But, you know, my teammates and coaches are telling me, you know, keep being yourself, you know, keep looking for your shot. So that's what I tried to do. You guys have switched back and forth between offensive schemes a bit this year at sides, uh, middle triangle, three men. Are there advantages you see between those two for you specifically in, in your game? Um, yeah, definitely. Obviously, you know, all our offenses have things that, you know, you can do out of. But each one specifically, I mean, it depends on what the defense is doing for sure. But, yeah, I think, you know, with size, it's a lot, you know, easier for me to come out the pin down and make a drop down pass to the bigs. And, Triangle, it's a lot of movement, so I think both are good. 
you uh, you've played one ACC game, but you're not really a veteran of the league. What what have your teammates, older teammates and coaches, told you about what it takes to be successful? You know, over the course of an ACC season. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing that they kind of you know harp on is being consistent throughout the whole thing. There's going to be ups and downs. You know, there's going to be wins and losses, but just maintaining the course of trajectory, getting better throughout the whole thing, and yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. I asked you, I guess it was last week, about Jordan, and, and you talked about the work he was putting in in practice. Mm -hmm. I know he missed a couple at the rim again tonight, but to see him have some productive minutes, um, you know, what was that like as a teammate? It was great. It was great. And, you know, in the first half, I was keep trying to find him. You know, as soon as we get that switch, I'll look for him in the post. So it's just great to see him become more comfortable on the floor. And, you know, he's a great player. So just seeing him put the ball in hoop and get that confidence, is, it was great. I know that there's probably not much doubt here, but McNeely had a couple of rough shooting games. He knocked down a couple threes tonight. Um, how big do you think that was for him and, and what's been his kind of approach to things as you've seen it? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's great for him. You know, I'm always trying to find him. You know, he's such a great shooter, such an elite shooter. So, I mean, he's really, he's so consistent where he's just going to keep shooting it. And that's what great shooters do. So just to see him keep putting the ball up and keep shooting, you know, we're all telling him, look for every shot you can get. You know, we're all with you. So for him to see it going, those are, yeah, it was good.